The hospitality industry was really quick to develop e-commerce websites back in the late 90s and during the, the first sort of tech boom, if you will. Uh, and shortly after, they began to get into mobile as well. So they were some of the, uh, the early investors and adopters of mobile technology, and, and they, were, uh, they built lots of mobile websites and applications you know, 10, 12 years ago. Unfortunately for many, that's where the investment stopped. And so where we're at today is we have consumers with faster and faster devices running on faster and faster networks, expecting rich experiences that uh, are not delivered uh, by a lot of uh, hospitality websites today simply because they were built a long time ago uh, when you had to build for slower networks and slower devices. So whereas most initial investments in, in mobile websites are uh, really extensions of what is already happening on the PC or, or desktop web, uh, the new La Quinta mobile solution is the result of taking a, um, a look at what mobile audiences want from the ground up and developing mobile content that is optimized specifically for a mobile audience. So it's, it's a question of developing an optimized experience versus simply porting what's already happening on the web. And to do that effectively, it takes uh, uh, looking at your audience, again, from the ground up. La Quinta identified uh, the booking process as a uniquely painful experience on most hotel websites and got serious about reimagining, reinventing that experience for their mobile audience. And what they came away with was the La Quinta Instant Hold. The Instant Hold feature of their mobile website and now downloadable applications allows a user to book a hotel room without having to enter a credit card or fill out a complicated form uh, and simply entering a 10-digit mobile phone number. So the La Quinta Instant Hold is definitely one that is, uh, uh, that is unique. In fact, they're actually trademarking, um, uh, they're trademarking the Instant Hold. Uh, another is that um, this website experience that we developed for them uh, is actually contextually aware. It's predictive in nature. So uh, when I go to laquinta.com on my mobile device as a new user, um, I'll be asked uh, for, my, for permission to use my location. And then they'll immediately show me results of hotels in my area. Uh, but if I'm uh, a repeat customer or if perhaps I'm on site or even post stay, uh, the mobile website changes its performance and changes its behavior based on where I'm at in that whole revenue cycle. If you have a website at all, which you probably do, uh, your mobile users are already using your website on mobile devices. Um, and they're probably already not getting what they want or they, or they are, in which case uh, the, the first thing that I would recommend doing uh, is taking a look at your, your web analytics and see and, and take a look at a, a few different things there. Check out um, what types of de devices are accessing your, your website currently, where they're jumping off, um, how much time they're spending on the site, what they're able to get and what they're not able to get. You're, you're actually able to glean a lot of really useful data about how your site is already performing on mobile devices simply by looking at your web logs. Really, there are two reasons. Uh, one is simply because consumers are, are holding powerful devices and expect really rich experiences on those powerful devices. Um, they're, they're accessing data on high-speed networks. Something like 60% of all smartphone data traffic occurs over a Wi-Fi connection here in the United States. So they, they are expecting and demand rich experiences. The second one is, uh, um, is simply the fact that our, our work, our lives as as Americans and as global citizens, for that matter, uh, is increasingly transient. Uh, we're always on the go. We're always in movement. Um, and uh, creating a mobile website and a downloadable, a downloadable application uh, for people who are in motion uh, was a, a smart thing for looking to do, and it'd be uh, a wise thing for other organizations in the hospitality industry to take a look at.